Hi. Uh, I'm uh, going to be talking about someone here who uh, I've just recently learned from a mate of mine who's uh, unfortunately passed away. He is an actor who uh, was in Hollywood for a very long time and he was one of their brightest shiniest greatest performers as far as I'm concerned and did so much stuff um, Rutger Hoyer he died a couple of days ago uh, age 75 apparently he, he'd been ill for a short time and yeah over here of course he was also famous for um, some Guinness beer commercials but uh, as an actor well I mean what didn't he do he just has a list of credits that is just endless and he was also adept at playing great villains he did play villains a few times often quite quiet villains yeah. and of course he was all played also played um, heroic characters. He, he played anything, you know. He he did so many diverse parts, diverse roles throughout his um, career. But yeah, most notably, of course, he will possibly, no doubt, always be famous for um, Blade Runner. But of course, he, that was just one of the first things that he did, and of course, he uh, basically um, quite famously as well. He kind of stole the show from Harrison Ford in that movie. Um, of course, it's pretty legendary among certainly among movie fans that um, Blade Runner had um, a bit of a tense shooting time, and. The financing proved a little um, tempestuous, you know, the financiers getting involved in things, and it wasn't exactly smooth running a lot of time. And Ridley Scott himself said that um, a lot of the time that he and Harrison were quarrelling a lot. But Rutger Hoyer emerged as the big shining star of the movie which many didn't expect but um, they were both great you know but Rutger Hoyer just um, yeah stole the show really especially in those unforgettable final moments especially writing the damn final speech as well I mean that has gone down in Blade Runner that's gone down in cinema history that has but yeah, he did so many other movies. I mean, I haven't even got half of them, which is criminal, really. But um, yeah, I mean, Blind. Fury, there's another one he did. Um, yeah, Blind Fury is one I'm going to be getting them soon. Um, Split Second was one. It's kind of a supernatural thriller meets Blade Runner kind of thing, really. But this time set in London, not Los Angeles. But. Um, I kind of watched that last night after I found out he was dead. Kind of as my little tribute to him, I think. And I'm finishing it hopefully tonight. But yeah, I just wanted to say that um, this is kind of paying tribute to um, a great actor. Yeah, the great Rutger Hoyer. After all the films that he did, and um, would it be nice to have met him, you know? Can imagine what he must have been like, but of course I'll never know. But yeah, I, uh, I and many millions of others, no doubt. We're gonna miss you, Rutger. Really gonna miss you. You were uh, one of the great shining stars of Hollywood, and uh, you were really damn good. Could play villains very well. Played Lee Cage. Played many people, and. I don't think, like one or two others, act like one or two other actors I can think of. I don't think he ever did a really poor film. Of course, he also took on, he also did support parts a lot. 
course he was in The Dark Knight, Batman Begins, um, and he wasn't even anywhere near the leads in those, but he, he did take a lot of um, second or third um, lead, a lot of support parts, you know, way down support, you know, like the many other support players. So, uh, hopefully that means he didn't even have much of an ego inside him, but uh, yeah, again, I'll never know what he was actually really like, but would have been nice to have found out. But uh, yeah, so a um, little tribute to Rutger Hoyer here, yeah. We're going to miss you, Rutger. Rest in peace, mate. See ya, bye.